And I tell my children, never let anybody hurt your feelings. If somebody tries and they succeed, brush, run, don't walk to the nearest garbage can and dump your hurt feelings. And she graduated mid-year in Michigan as a teacher and applied for a job in industrial Detroit. And she knows us. <clears throat> and all the teachers had their faces averted. She read the school, a contract. She knows the school board were holding their breath Oh, she was reading a contract. That she wanted a job, so she signed the contract. The first thing that happened was an old biddy on the faculty said, we must give the new teacher a welcome party. And when that old biddy made that announcement, all the other seats Looked at the floor, they had hangdog looks on their faces, and nobody else looked at Betty Ella. And Betty Ella said, This has every evidence of proving to be a, a disagreeable situation. <laughs> and it's a party I don't want to miss. And she arranged me the last one to arrive. He rang the doorbell. Old Biddy opened the door, took her gently by the arm. Let her out the middle of the room. Then I said, No, what was coming? All the teachers were looking at the floor, the wall. The old Betty said, Miss Erickson, in all my years of teaching, I have never before encountered anybody so ignorant, so stupid so ill-fitted, so incompetent, so unprepared to teach. My goodness. With all these. <laughs> and Betty Alice smiled happily and modestly <laughs> and said, that's because I worked so hard at it. That's because I worked so hard at it. And the old buddy left and the teacher all had a good time. And high school teacher so one of my sons. Now it was most idiotic. And I made stupid performed. Worst I've ever seen. And my son said wonderingly, and I wasn't even half trying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't take it so <laughs> You leave them with the insulter. <laughs> it's his problem. And in therapy, your patient will come to you with hurt feelings. My husband called me an uh, ignorant, incompetent, non entity. Is that the uh, best your husband could do? <laughs> <laughs> Is his vocabulary lacking? 
He must have meant something. But what did he mean using just those few words? And she starts looking at himself in a different way. And I've discredited the insult. Always turn any insult, always misunderstand it as a compliment. And that baffles a person. Are you really that stupid? Only on Wednesdays. <laughs> yeah. What do you do with that answer? Stuck with it. Yeah, homeless girl I ever met. That's why I won the title on the 31st of February, leap year. What was You're the homeliest girl I ever met. And he says, well, that's why I won the title on the 31st of February, leap year. But what are they going to do? You're a very stupid remark. They're going to try to make sense out of it. <laughs> And that's their problem. <laughs>